Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. You know, as preppers, we uh, need efficient antennas, HF antennas, because we operate most of the time with low power, simply because we might need to carry our gear, including the battery, and we might not have uh, easy means of recharging them. So that's why I'm a big fan of half-wave and fed antennas. They are pretty long, you know, half wavelength. Uh, that's not a short wire, but the efficiency is is awesome. And you can hang them by a single point, just going down, and that's all you need. So I had uh, built a an unfed tuner by EA3 GCY Javier in Spain. Here's the tuner, and you can see it's pretty darn small. Uh, this is the wire for the antenna, 10.1 meter of wire. Just a little BNC connector and that's it. You hang it, well, that's for the bottom, but you hang the wire up on a tree or fiberglass pole and that's all you have. I really like the size. You can check the video, it's uh, in my videos list. Also, I did test it briefly when I uh, reviewed the uh, spider beam 12 meter pole but I had a problem with my antenna analyzer and I believed the SWR wasn't good and the SWR is the ratio between the power that's being radiated through the antenna and the power that goes back to the radio and ideally it should be below 2 to 1. So I thought the tuner wasn't quite working and I kept cutting wire, snipping it shorter and shorter until I didn't have enough wire anymore and it still wasn't working. Of course what I didn't know is that it worked perfectly <laughs> but my antenna, my cheap Chinese antenna analyzer that I had previously calibrated, I guess the calibration didn't quite uh, work or something happened but was giving me uh, erroneous numbers. So I tried again, I put the pole right next to uh, on a fence uh, next to my house and uh, put a 10.1 meter wire and now that's for the 20 meter band so 10 meters is uh, half a wavelength and that's 33 feet and I, it just turned out that the SWR was perfect <laughs> and I had an SWR of 1.1 to 1 at the beginning of the band to uh, 2 to 1 on 14.35 uh, which covers the whole 20 meter band and that's amazing you can see here that the reverse beacon network uh, returned a few spots from Canada and the United States. Amazing. That was using probably about 10 watts. And now it's time to get my behind off the couch <laughs> and go try it out in the field. So here we are in the woods. It's kind of nice to uh, get out again after the winter. I have the uh, spider beam. There are some trees around, but uh, you know it's much easier to uh, use a pole. These woods saw a lot of fighting during World War I and World War II. They're full of bunkers, five or six of them. I used to play in them when I was a kid. Here's the top of one. The rest of it is under the ground. Uh, it's been filled in. Here's another one. I think it's a German bunker. Anyway, I might as well set up here, it's as good a place as any.
check the SBR around 150. It's a bit high here. Might be because of the trees. So just by moving the antenna, I was able to get uh, an acceptable SWR. And the antenna is, uh, of course, it's uh, half-wave and fed. They are very much uh, influenced by what's around them. Oh, that was strong. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. This is Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. CQ, CQ, this is Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. QSB, it's fading in and out. Good evening, this is Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. <laughs> Nothing. I've been trying for quite some time and I can't get a USB contact, so let's quit this uh, voice nonsense and go to Morse code.
done for tonight. Uh, this bunker used to be connected by trenches. They even had a railroad uh, connecting them to the town. Absolutely amazing. So they're both from World War I and World War II. Well, we're back and trying again. This time on the balcony. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Roger. Thank you very much. We are 5'9 plus 10. 5'9 plus 10. QSL. Okay. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, Thank you very much and have a great day. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. Well, at least one. You can see on the reverse beacon network here that uh, Yesterday in the woods, I was received in Canada, so that's pretty darn good given the band conditions. And when I tried again today, I was uh, I got so quite a few spots, but uh, not as far as yesterday. So the band conditions are not very good. This MEF1 is really a neat little tuner. It's very small, it's light, you can pack it, you won't even notice. It's a single band tuner, of course, so if you have a favorite band or you're using uh, single band radios, it's perfect. The first time I tuned it at my house, I had a great SWR on the whole 20 meter band, and that was great. The second time around in the woods, not so much. I had up to 3 to 1, and that was bad. But I was transmitting only 5 watts, and you know, I think the trees were influencing the uh, radiation of the antenna. Now keep in mind also that I tune my antennas for the bottom of the bands, CW or Morse code portion. So uh, of course when I go up in frequency, uh, the SWR goes up. But despite of the conditions, I was able to make a USB contact on 20 meters and that was great using 5 watts and probably much less radiated because of the, again, a bit high SWR. One lesson to draw from this again is that, you know, I know it's going to be painful to hear for some people, but that voice modes are not your best bet for survival radio. Your best bets are digital modes or CW using Morse code. I'm not ditching voice modes, mind you. I like voice modes. I like SSB. I like two meter SSB and sometimes I do uh, SSB on HF. But again, uh, they're not very efficient uh, power wise. You have much more concentrated power uh, in a digital signal or a narrow uh, CW or PSK31 signal, and that's physics. As to the MEF1, to conclude, I really like the tuner. It's tiny, it's cheap, which doesn't hurt, it's light to carry, so it has a lot of advantages. You can find it on the EA3GCY website or on eBay. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to go check out patreon.com if you want to help this channel, please. Thank you. Have a good one.